Next game up is a 10 p.m. game, and we got multiple late nighters on on the off the radar slate this week. And we are going to ride with UCLA at Utah ESPN game. Both teams already three losses on the season. That could be uh, interesting because uh, one of these will have four losses before November. I don't know that anybody expected that. Uh, UCLA five and one against the spread of their last six. Or sorry, Utah five and one against the spread of their last six against UCLA. Uh, but UCLA. They are 5-0 and against the number on the road this season. That kind of surprised me. Kind of surprised me. I, I look at these numbers here, and Utah is supposed to be good against the run, but I don't know that they are because last week they got demolished by Oregon State. Both of these teams can run the football. I, I think the biggest key to this game is going to be whether or not Cam Rising uh, can throw on a weak UCLA secondary. If they can... I don't know that UCLA can score enough to keep up with them, and that could be interesting. So I I don't like the 6.5. I think it might be a touch too much, but I do still think that Utah is the significantly better team, and playing in Salt Lake City is rough, man. So I'm I'm going to take Utah to cover 6.5 here. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go the other way. I'm going to take UCLA. I think, they can, I think they can win the game, so if I'm getting almost a touchdown head start, I'm going to play them. I think they play close games. I think they... I think both these teams play ugly games all the time, so I don't I don't feel safe with either one of them laying that big of a number to anybody right now. Yeah, I can uh, I can trust that. There's there's just a lot of questions about both of these teams, right? Yeah, DTR, I I believe he's going to play. Like he should be fine. He he missed the end of the Oregon game, and which was a damn shame. We talked about it on the reaction show on Sunday, but he I mean he played his heart out in that ball game. He put everything he had out there. Can he do it two weeks in a row? Like, that's, that's what we'll find out. And he's, he's kind of done it all season, man. He, he's a really gutsy kid. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.